also, Zlatan, obviously, you're friends with a lot of athletes. Are you friends with any American athletes? Good friends? Uh, not, not really. I played with uh, Ogenda in Milan, mm -hmm. but that ended up with a fight. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what happened with that? That was a real fist fight, right? That was, was a good fight. It was a good fight. And uh, at the same time, it was not good, but I enjoyed it because the guy was big as me, even bigger. and. Uh, he gave me a good match, but at the end we, we became friends. So did you have to fight to become friends? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Who won that fight? If you ask him, he would say him. If you ask me, I would say me, but I think 50-50. All right, you're back on the field now. We saw you score a goal recently. How does it feel to be back out there? Do you feel rust? Do you feel excitement? What's the feeling? I feel good. I feel good. We, we have a long preparation we train very hard and uh, this is the moment when you where you train as hardest for the season and uh, at the moment we are here in US doing the preparation having good games playing good upcoming games also and uh, yeah, try to enjoy the the time do also. you like coming to america and i like i like what do you US. like about it? i like everything i mean the three big cities i like, I like los angeles i like miami i like new york and uh, different world because it's, when I was young, I used to see these American movies, and when you see it in real, it becomes like, un, how do you say, like a dream come true. What's your favorite American movie? I like many movies, many movies. I mean, you have... More like comedies, action movies, Different drama. kind of movies. Whenever it's a good movie, it's a good movie. Okay. If, if they made a movie of your life, what action. actor action. would play an action star? Action, I don't know, I mean, if Stallone or something. Yeah, of course, <laughs> nothing, nothing but the toughest. Uh, you mentioned that you like to visit the city of Miami. Well, your former teammate, David Beckham, is starting an MLS franchise in Miami. Would you ever, in the future, consider playing for David Beckham? What if I would be the first one signing for his team? Yeah? No, we'll see. <laughs> we see. Uh, still got talks going on. Let's see what happens. It, very interesting because I know you're also good friends with Thierry Henry and he said he loved playing in the MLS. Is there something that he told you about MLS that makes you think it would be a good fit? He said, yeah, I should have a lot of patience if I come. Because I'm used... <laughs> Why is that? Because uh, we were used to get the ball on the feet. He, was, he didn't get the ball on the feet here. <laughs> he, was, he had to run for the ball. But he's growing, he's growing, it's becoming yeah. better. So, I mean, Thierry played here, you had David, you have Gerard coming over. So I, I think the football, the soccer is getting bigger and bigger. And, uh, but I would like to, that the soccer is in the level like the European soccer is because I think U.S. need it. And uh, with all the opportunities you have here, of course, you should have soccer. Of course, and the sport is growing. We can tell around the World Cup, Women's World Cup even, exactly. and, and of course with MLS. Uh, of course, this is the time of year in Europe. Maybe people who watch our show don't know this. This is the time of year when all the trade rumors and transfer rumors start to leak out. Manchester United, your name has been linked. Would you consider playing for Man U? I have David Beckham. I don't need Man U. <laughs> You David Beckham in Miami, who needs David venue? Beckham in Miami or Manchester United. I will, <laughs> it's difficult to choose. I'm happy. I'm happy with PSG. I have another year contract and uh, so far I, I did a fantastic job and uh, the people behind the, the, the club is, I have a good relationship with them and I'm happy with the city. I'm happy with the team. I have a strong team I'm playing for with and uh, I mean, at the end, I, I will always say, you never know what happens. But for the moment, I am a PSG player, and my future is written. And what it says there, I cannot tell you. Okay. Very existential. What's your relationship like right now with Manchester United's coach, Louis van Gaal? No, that's not good. The relationship's not good? I had him as a, he was a director in Ajax, and he, the way he's working is not the way I work. You wrote in your book that you thought he was too strict, that he treated the players not like men, but more like boys. Would yes. that be a problem, Big problem if you went to play for Man U? Big problem. 
Would that prevent you from playing for Manchester United? <laughs> At the end, I think he's professional, I'm professional. And uh, whoever I work with, with and working with, I, I never had this kind of problems because at the end I need to do my job, he needs to do his job. And I think a lot of fights would happen, and, but that's something I like. Okay. You like to be challenged. I like the battles, yes. I like to feel alive. <laughs> do you think that the people on your team like the battles? I, it's, at the end of the day, it's all about winning. Mm -hmm. My job is to win trophies. So far, I won every trophy I played for except the Champions League. but. You never know what happens, but every year I want something. So as long as you win, you make the people happy. And uh, whatever happens during the, the season is less important when you win the trophies. Yeah. But people like to speak about it, yes. <laughs> okay. You mentioned Champions League. That's the one thing that you have yet to attain. What makes you think this will be the year? I think when it comes to the Champions League, it's all about small details. It's not. It's not always the best that wins. It's the moment, the, the, the little luck you need to, in that special moment when it's winning or losing. And um, sometimes it goes in, sometimes it doesn't. And uh, it will come one day. But even if I don't win it, my career has been, has been amazing. What I have achieved, I could only dream of. But I made it real and I'm very happy. I'm very more than happy. What, for what I have done. Your resume speaks for itself. I want to switch gears. How closely have you been following the FIFA scandal? I haven't been following that. I've, I've got many questions about it. So, I mean, the last thing I saw now was a press conference, somebody throwing the, I, f I find it funny, but behind the scenes, I don't really know what, what's going on, what has happened. So I'm there to play soccer. I'm there to let the people enjoy when I play. So about really what happens there, if I'm honest with you, I don't even care what happens there because it's not my problem. It's the problem of them. Do you worry, though, about the future of FIFA and world soccer considering they've now been embroiled in this huge scandal? I mean, it's not supposed to be like that. I mean, for me... I'm on the field, I'm not in the office doing the things there. So for me, football is one religion and everybody's welcome wherever you come from. So it should be a fair game and, and that's the way it, it works. And uh, whatever has happened there, if, if it hasn't gone in the right way, of course, we have done a mistake. We have done something wrong and that is not the way it's supposed to be. Sweden, looking good for Euro Cup 2016, mm -hmm. which will be played in France, France and where you currently play now, what would that mean to you? To represent my country in France would be fantastic. And if I could win the European in France, it would be even better. That's the way I would like to, that's my dream scenario. But <laughs> if it would happen, I don't know. But I'm doing my best and win it with my country in France it would be make it even more triggering. What would you want the French fans to take from that? that we are winning the European in France. <laughs> I think they would enjoy. I, they like me. <laughs> they like, they like me. The, the media, so and so, but <laughs> the people like me, that's the most important yeah. because I play for them. Yeah, you've won them over. What do you do off the field? I have two kids, two, two lovely boys. They're uh, two small beasts that they're, they're training every day. I try to shape them into into to something. Let's see what the outcome will be. But and I have a lovely wife also, and uh, I'm a family guy. And uh, I mean, when they're happy, I'm happy. I try to do whatever is best for them. And but it's like a life is repeating in my two sons. So I'm doing the things that I did when I was small. What's the one thing that you maybe didn't like about your childhood that you want to change for your sons? My parents did whatever they could to make it the, the best for me. So I'm very happy with that and, uh, and uh, I'm very thankful because I became the one I am today because of them. And of course, I have, my children has more opportunities now 
they, they get to discover the world in different way. We, they get to do things and uh, that's the big difference. But I make them, I give them same discipline like my parents gave me. So that's the most important. You're tough dad, but fair. Uh, we saw you in a billboard on Times Square advocating to end world hunger. There's so many things you could lend your name and celebrity to. Why is that important to you? Uh, when I do things, I want it to feel 200%. I don't, I don't do things so when I walk on the street and people telling me, oh, you're a good guy, you're, you're helping people. No, I don't need that. When I do, I want, I want it to feel real. So every day I could do something for charity. But when this came, the, the World Food Program thing for the hunger, it felt real. It felt something that I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. But I didn't do it to get the credit because I don't need it. I'd rather people telling me negative or opposite things than giving me the, the credit for something I've done because it's not the way I want to do because you have many people, let's say athletes, doing things because of the image. I have my image. I don't need to make up an image that I'm not. So, but the experience I got from this, it's unbelievable because it became so powerful and to get being in Times Square a couple of weeks ago was I mean, I got the, how do you say, the, the chicken skin? Yeah, when chicken, I saw, yeah. yeah. goosebumps. <laughs> goosebumps. <laughs> and I was very happy, very honored because, yeah, I mean, we, we were working two years on this project, two years, and we made it until 75%, and we bet everything in one game. What would happen if I got injured after one minute? The, the campaign would fall totally, but opposite. I scored after one minute, and that was the destiny. And that was my moment, so it was supposed to happen. Yeah. But I'm very happy for the, for the World Food Program uh, project, and uh, they are the ones that should get all the attention, not me, because I don't need it. Well, that says a lot about you. Do you get recognized out on the streets in New York City? People, yeah? people recognize me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they're tourists or if it's the local people. <laughs> <laughs> we do get a lot of tourists here. Um, OK, last thing with you. I'm going to say a name or a word. And you okay. just give me the first thing that pops into your mind. This okay. is what we call here free association. Yeah. Lionel Messi. Fantastic. Cristiano Ronaldo. Great. Jose Mourinho. Power. Your book, I Am Zlatan. Amazing. <laughs> Pep Guardiola. Good coach. Good coach. Red person. MLS. Growing. David Beckham. Fantastic person. Aguchi Onyewu. Strong guy. Jurgen Klinsmann. Good player. Good player. You don't think of him as a coach? I, I haven't I haven't followed up so much. I'm sorry. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Wow. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!